What's up guys, welcome back. Dane's Great Journey, checking back in. It's actually Tuesday, and the last time I made a video was about last Sunday, so I'm making another video for you guys today. And what I wanted to do today is just give you guys a couple of books from 2013 that I read that I really liked and I think you would enjoy too. And you know, you can pick one of them to read, or you can get all three of them to read, but either way, these these books I liked probably the most out of all the books I read in 2013. So there's three books, and I'll start with the first one. This one I particularly liked a lot. I've read it a couple times actually, and it really pertains to what I'm doing in terms of you know trying to be an entrepreneur, starting my own business and stuff like that. But what this book's called is The Art of the Start. This is by uh, Guy Kawasaki, and it's a really, really good book. So if you're just... It doesn't even matter if you're starting your own business or anything. It's just about kind of starting anything and how to go about that process. And it uh, gives you really practical advice and examples, which is really cool. And if you're starting your own type of business too, something you'd want to sell in the future or something you'd want to raise money for, really, really highly recommended book to get. So that's, again, The Art of the Start by Guy Kawasaki. It's an awesome book, guys. I read this like twice. Um, I took a lot of notes on it too. You know, obviously when you read books, you should definitely underline them. It just helps you uh, remember things better, and then you can go back and read through those underlinings as well too. So, Art of the Start by Guy Ka Guy Kawasaki. That was the first book. Another book which I really, really, really liked was The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. This book is pretty big, as you as you can see. But you know, I always talk about self development and how that's so important in your in your journey. And this book is kind of like it encompasses everything in terms of self-development. I've read you know, a good amount of books on self-development. I thought this book was great. It kind of has everything in terms of the skills you need to think about and everything into developing yourself into a high achiever, a high performer, someone who you know can set goals and do all those things. So it's got kind of everything in there, which is really good. And it's got lots of good stories too, because I know a lot of people get bored with reading books like that. But there's a lot of good stories of people, you know, people who came down all different uh, avenues and they you know transform their life so it's it's really good it keeps you engaged and it's really interesting and it's one of the better self-development books I've read too and it's got a lot of good stuff in it so if you've never read a book on self-development I definitely highly encourage you to get this book by Jack Canfield the success principles right there cool cool alright last book which I really liked it's a little bit shorter and I've talked about this before in a couple of my videos but it's the compound effect by Darren Hardy this book is um, really good and it obviously it's like a self-development book too but what I like about this compared to the bigger book by Jack Canfield is what the compound effect actually is and just to give you an example like I've explained in videos before it's it's not necessarily you know having to become successful overnight but it's about doing these little things that compound over time so if I saved you know ten dollars a day over the next two years I'd have you know X amount of money or if I was to read and do 30 minutes every single day like I talk about, you know, these success rituals. It's kind of like the same thing. I'm reading 30 minutes every single day. In two or three years, I'm going to have tons of books. I'm going to learn tons of skills. If I can uh, get in a car and every time I drive to work or to the gym or wherever I'm going, I listen to audio programs, CDs, educational material that can help me develop the skills I need to develop. If I do that instead of, let's say, listen to music, within a year time, I can get two semesters worth of school just from driving in my car not wasting any time it's called net time that's what I learned from Tony Robbins but think about something like that like little things you can implement into your life that aren't gonna pay off in a week but in a year in two three years the amount that it's gonna compound over time just like investing in something with a 10% return every single year getting that return all those little things, guys, that compound over time. So this is a really good practical book. Really, It's really for the analytical type of person. That's what I think because I, I, I'm analytical. I like to know the numbers. You know, I track the amount of food I eat. I track my workouts, all of that stuff because it all always comes down to numbers, to systems, to get a proven, predictable result. And that's what this book is all about. So if you want something a little bit shorter, you're not really into you know success and self-development types of books, Check this one out. It's really, really good. I highly suggest it. So those are the three books in 2013 that I liked a lot. I read a lot of books in 2013, and it's just interesting to you know pick different books on different topics, whether it be relationships, physical fitness, 
success, money, and just, you know, kind of dive into it and learn. And like I said, you know, when you do this 30 minutes a day, you can really, or an hour a day, which is, you know, you can get a lot more and you can go through so many books, you can develop so many skills. And then when you start doing it, you know, in the car, you start getting even more, you know, listening to audio programs too when you're at the gym or you're just driving, guys. Um, you know, it's a process, but start implementing little things like this into your life, these little success rituals that I've talked about in the last couple of videos, because it's going to pay dividends in the future, guys. You're going to learn so many skills you can learn. Yes, school is one thing, but you can also be you, you always need to be growing. You always need to be learning new things. And um, that's the, the best time to do this is when you're young. You can, you can pick up so many things that are going to help you when you get into the field of your choice, when you start the business you want. You know, I'm starting a business, so this is so practical for me. It's something I can learn, and I can also go out and implement into what I'm doing. All right, business plan, do this, do that. You know, practical advice from people who have already experienced and already had success in the areas that you're trying to have success. And you got to learn from people who are better, mentors. Anything that you can get ahead, get get ahead of the game. That's what it's all about. It's about learning and learning and increasing your ability to know how to do things, to make mistakes, to overcome challenges, and to position yourself so when the time does come, that asks the most of you to get you to that next level. You're not only you're not only um, in the moment. You're ready for the moment. You know you've prepared. You've done the work ahead of time, guys. It's, it's it's so important. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We're about six and a half minutes in. Dane's great journey. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Keep working towards your goals. Keep the journey going. Slow steps along the way. Don't try and change everything in your life. It's going to be way too overwhelming and too complicated. One thing at a time. Master a skill. Go on to the next one. That's one of the best skills you can ever acquire in your life is the ability to focus in and get really good at one thing. And then once you're good at that, now add on the next thing. And relate it to what you're doing in your life. Self-development is important to any aspect of your life. It's being successful in all the areas of your life. Physical, spiritual, mental, financial, relationships. That's all self-development. It gets a really bad... Um, it's a really bad rap in the in terms of everyone else like oh self development i don't need to improve myself but think about it it's like it's skills that can help you get you to where you need to go okay guys so thanks so much for watching this video dan's great journey check in out i'll talk to you guys soon later